Hello everybody. So in this new assignment on isotopes, we're going to look at a different system. Uh, earlier we looked at rubidium strontium. Now we're in this sheet, isotopes samarium neodymium. Uh, samarium and neodymium are, uh, and neodymium, they're both rare earth elements down at the bottom of the periodic chart. They are used a lot to understand uh, the sources of various kinds of things, not just igneous rocks, but they're also used a lot in tracing uh, groundwater systems, for example. Anyway, we're going to look at igneous rocks again just to keep the analysis simple and familiar. Uh, we have the same equation we saw before, so the daughter is equal to initial plus whatever, whatever we get from decay of the parent. Um, so it's the same as what we looked at when we studied the strontium, rubidium strontium system except now our parent is samarium-147 and our daughter product is neodymium-144. And instead of a beta particle, what's being given off is an alpha particle. And you can tell that because an alpha particle has uh, an atomic weight of four, two protons, two neutrons. And you can see that as this atomic weight goes down from 147 to 144. The um, half-life is quite a bit longer, 106 million years. The decay constant is what we're going to use. Lambda is this value here, 6.5 times 10 to the minus 12. We looked at this before, so you can make that same calculation to go from a decay constant to a half-life or vice versa. I recommend checking to see that I've done that math correctly. And then here's the equation similar to what we saw before with rubidium and strontium. The total neodymium 144 that we see in the system is whatever we see initially, so we'll put in a subscript here, plus whatever we get from the decay of samarium 147, depending on how much time has passed, and then the value of the decay constant. Now, it's a little bit easier to measure ratios rather than absolute values, so we're going to look at uh, neodymium 143 to Normal, as a normalizing um, factor, we're going to divide everything by neodymium-143 to get this equation here, which I've reproduced down here uh, using the equation editor in uh, Microsoft Word. And like uh, some, uh, strontium-86, uh, neodymium-143 is not radiogenic and it is not radioactive. So it's not going to change with time. So it won't affect any of our time calculations. But it's easier to measure ratios than absolute abundances. And that's one of, the, one of the reasons why we do it. And again, just like with the earlier system, we have this equation. Y is equal to uh, B plus X times M. So this is our Y. We want to plot 144 over 143 on the vertical axis. And this is our X, 147 over 143. And then the slope, m, is e to the lambda t minus 1. And as a bonus, the uh, y-intercept, b, will give us the initial value. We might think that, oh, how can we ever know the initial value uh, that a system started with over here? Or how would we know the initial ratio over here? Well, if we have multiple rocks that evolve together, then we can figure it out from the b-intercept. So it's not something that's necessarily unknown. So we have y is equal to mx plus b, where we have these values here. This document, by the way, will be posted on Canvas. And then we have the same equation as we had before, m plus 1 is equal to e to the lambda t, and then we'll solve to get time. Right. So in the uh, next video, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the Excel spreadsheet where I'm going to give you some data from the Tuolumne Intrusive Complex.